cookies welcome back to coop can cook okay quick story so i'm rolling through beautiful louisiana ain't it gorgeous <laughs> and i'm trying to think of what to cook for you guys today like i had a taste with some chicken but then i was like no i just spilled some chicken stuff on but i really want some chicken so i'm gonna do something with chicken but then i saw this oh lord not the chickens <laughs> On their way to the slaughterhouse, Lord bless them. Now y'all know I couldn't eat no chicken today. Mm -mm, we had to think of something else. Okay, y'all, I'm still rolling, still thinking, and I'm like, it's such a gorgeous day. It would be perfect for a crawfish ball. Hold up. Crawfish. That's what I want to cook. Something with crawfish. And I remember that one of my subscribers requested a crawfish etouffee. Boom, let's do that today. Oh, that rhymed, I'm good. Anyway, but I shared a Rulis crawfish etouffee recipe on my blog, and some of you guys wanted to see one from scratch. So, you know I always give y'all what y'all want. So, let's cook with Coop. Okay, let's get started with this roux. Now, I know when I say roux, sometimes people freak out, but don't get scared. It's so easy. I heated up my cast iron skillet and now I'm adding vegetable oil. See, roux are part to part, meaning if I use a fourth of a cup of oil, I use that same amount of flour. So once my oil was hot, I added that flour in there and whisk it around. Okay, I like to season my roux. So I added my seasoning in now. Don't trip, check the description box. I'll have all measurements, all ingredients there, per usual, so check that out. But I'm only not whisking right now because I'm recording, <laughs> but I'm constantly whisking, there I go again, constantly whisking on a medium low heat. You don't want to walk away, don't go answer your phone, don't go watch TV, stay there and babysit this stuff until you get a nice peanut buttery color, like so. Ain't it pretty? Let's move on. And now, you cannot have a Cajun dish without the Trinity. That's the onion, the bell pepper, and the celery. I also have some fresh parsley, some red bell peppers, garlic, and um, I think some shallots in there. We'll go ahead and add that to your roux. Give it a good mix. And cook that for about five to six minutes until they're translucent. Okay, I'm using a package of frozen crawfish shells that I thought, don't you say yuck, this is the fat, this is the good stuff. I drained that and now I'm going to add, of course, some liquid crab ball. How much? A capsule. Duh. Okay, so I'm adding some water to just until it reaches one cup. I'm going to add some more water a little bit later, but pour that in. I switched pots because I needed some more room, so I took it out that cast iron skillet. Give it a good mix and bring it to a simmer. Turn the heat up just a little bit. Okay, so I added two chicken bouillon cubes, unwrap them of course and throw them in there. I just love the flavor it adds. And I'm also adding some more water. Check the link in the description for the exact measurements. And give it a good stir, turn the heat to medium, and let it simmer so those flavors can combine. I also added some more Cajun spices to it, just taste it and you know adjust it accordingly. Now moving on to some fresh Louisiana catfish. Not bossa fish, <laughs> no shade, but shade, but some fresh Louisiana catfish. We're gonna bake some of this, but first, Let's season this stuff. Okay, I got some Cajun seasoning, some onion powder, got some garlic and herb mixes, dash, all kind of stuff. Check the description. I got you covered. Give it a good shake. Did I make you dizzy? I made myself dizzy. <laughs> but make sure you pat these fillets dry before you season them. Give them a good sprinkle and rub it in. This is what you want. Mm, doesn't it look good already? Oh, 
Oh, I almost forgot. Lemons. Gotta have that lemon juice. So we're just gonna first sprinkle some lemon juice on each filet. And now some melted butter. A little bit. And I'm going to bake this in a preheated oven at 375 degrees for about 20 minutes. Ain't it cute? Let's bring our attention back to the etouffee. We're going to taste it after it's simmered for about 25 minutes. Taste it, adjust the seasonings if need be, then add in the crawfish tails. Give them a stir and only cook these for about 5 minutes guys. Do not, do not, do not overcook these things. And now you can just turn off the heat and allow them to sit in there and soak up all of that good flavor. Oh my gosh. Look at that. As it sits, it's going to thicken. And then when you're fished or your rice is done, we can go ahead and plate this stuff. Let's eat. And cookies. We're done. Look at that. That fish was so good. So flaky. So flavorful. You know, that's my word. <laughs> but you can serve it over the fish or... You can just do it traditionally and serve it with some rice. Whatever works. It's amazing either way. I hope you try this. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, again, check the description box for that link to the full printable recipe. Leave me some comments. Let me know what you want to see next. I'm thinking something sweet. I think I'll make something sweet for you guys. But thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. And as always, be blessed.